relationship, which even the direst of situations couldn't prevent the reunion of. There are specific ways to prepare ourselves and our lives for the meeting of our twin flame. The twin flame connection is unlike any other type of relationship and therefore needs to be approached differently as well. We may know of our twin flame early on in our life's journey. But more often than not, our twin flame won't appear until we have made room for their existence in our life. One of the most crucial aspects to preparing ourselves for our twin flame is to accept who we are individually. This comes when we can harness our true selves and gain comfort from living through both our darkness and light. This means no more running from our true selves. To accept who we truly are also means to fall in love with ourselves. It means finding what truly impassions us and living that truth every single day. During this aspect of our journey to our authentic self, we also will have to give up the low-frequency vibrations that radiate from issues such as insecurity, self-doubt, unhealthy behaviors, narcissistic tendencies and jealousy. If we choose to not develop that sense of self-awareness, we will continue to emit low vibrations and we may miss a chance at connecting with our twin flame in this lifetime. Accepting this and moving through these emotions is not an easy matter. It means that we will have to be honest with ourselves and our motives. We will have to invite all of our fears inside, and get to know each one intimately to see if they are here to protect us from harm or to negate our spiritual evolution. Only once we have learned how to let go of those emotions that no longer serve us, and instead cultivate a soul rich with compassion and acceptance, will we also be in the place to attract our twin flame. Yet, while clearing out the dust and debris of our own soul is challenging, the other crucial aspect is that we no longer are searching for love in all the wrong places. Often, even if we have met our twin flame early on in life, we aren't meant to join together at that time. This is because to fully appreciate and recognize the rarity and complexities that exist in this union, we also need to have worked through many of our issues involving relationships through our karmic partner and soulmates. Each person who we meet in this life garners unique lessons for us to learn that only they can teach us. Most of our relationships begin with the sole purpose of not lasting forever. But the most important aspect that we can take away is the lessons that a particular partner helped teach us. Some karmic partners or soulmates will teach us about how detrimental it is to accept less than what we want and deserve from a partner. Others may come in while we are in a relationship with another to help be the catalyst for that to end. While each one may show us a glimpse of what love truly is, in none of these relationships are we truly given everything that our hearts yearn for. Many of us sometimes miss encounters with our twin flames because we are currently still working through issues of self-worth and compromise, lessons that can only be taught in relationships that challenge us. Yet one of the most amazing aspects of the twin flame is that even if we miss a reunion, we will always be given another chance by the universe. It's not an issue of timing, but one of readiness. To make space for our twin flame to come into our lives, we have to be able to look at our relationships with as much scrutiny as we look at ourselves. We have to remove those rose-colored glasses, and tell our ego, who hates to be wrong, to sit this one out, and instead look at the relationship for what it really is. Not what we wish it was, or what it could be but for what it is precisely in this moment. When we can do that, and begin to notice all the ways in which we feel triggered or anxious, then we can finally begin to process the lessons that are the sole purpose of these relationships. Each relationship that ends prior to a twin flame reunion isn't a failure, but merely part of the necessary steps toward one another. The universe may test us in preparation for our reunion by sending us someone who is similar to one or more partners we may have already had, or we may be given the chance to settle once again for a relationship that is not truly what we want. When we have truly healed and absorbed all of the necessary lessons, 
we will finally arrive in the place to not backtrack in our romantic lives. When we can decide to not pursue something with someone because we have acquired knowledge about our authentic needs or when we can take a sigh of relief because we finally feel good about not going back to an ex, only then have we finally arrived. Only once we have cleared away our past can our twin flame know that we have room for them in our future. Many twin flame relationships can be difficult on their own, with both parties being a runner or chaser at any given time, yet many of these complications that occur do so because one or both people haven't truly made room for this type of union in their life. While nothing can diminish the twin flame connection, both people do have to be in a healthy state of mind and body to properly welcome this type of relationship in their lives. Because when we finally meet someone that we do want to spend the rest of our lives with, we want it to start as soon as possible. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual paths. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave your suggestion in the field below. Thank you.